Greetings, this is Jeff Corpenning. It's October 5th, 2012. After our most recent township meeting, I thought it was time to do a little video about our park merry-go-round. I may get some clips and pull them out of a recent meeting to add here, but I thought I would start this video on the cpsc.gov website, and this is about public playground safety. On that website, you can find the full handbook uh, specifically under 5.3.4 merry-go-rounds. I'll take some screen clips here and stick them up here. Uh, under merry-go-rounds it says merry-go-rounds are the most common rotating equipment found on public playgrounds. Children usually sit or stand on the platform while other children or adults push the merry-go-round to make it rotate. In addition, children often get on and off the merry-go-round while it is in motion. Merry-go-rounds may present a physical hazard to preschool-aged children who have little or no control over such products once they are in motion. Therefore, children in this age group should always be supervised when using merry-go-rounds. The following recommendations apply when the merry-go-round is at least 20 inches in diameter. Merry-go-rounds should not be used on playgrounds intended for toddlers. The standing sitting surface of the platform should have a maximum height of preschool 14 inches above the protective surface, school age 18 inches above the protective surface. The rotating platform should be continuous and approximately circular. The surface of the platform should not have any openings between the axis and the periphery that permit a rod having a diameter of 5 16th inch to penetrate completely through the surface. The distance between the minimum and maximus radii of a non-circular platform should not exceed 2 inches. And they show this on figure 15. The underside of the perimeter of the platform should be no less than 9 inches above the level of the protective surface beneath it. There should not be any accessible shearing or crushing mechanisms in the undercarriage of the equipment. Children should be provided with a secure means of holding on. Where hand grips are provided, they should conform to the general recommendations for hand gripping components in 5.2.2. No components of the apparatus, including hand grips, should extend beyond the perimeter of the platform. The rotating platform of a merry-go-round should not have any sharp edges. A means should be provided to limit the peripheral speed of rotation to a maximum of 13 feet per second. Merry-go-round platforms should not have any up and down oscillatory motion. Under Use Zone 5.3.4.1, the use of zone should extend a minimum of 6 feet beyond the perimeter of the platform. The use zone may not overlap other use zones unless the rotating equipment is less than 20 inches in diameter and the adjacent equipment allows overlap. 5.3.4.2 Hull Height The hull height for a merry-go-round is the distance between the perimeter of the platform where a child could sit or stand and the protective surfacing beneath it. Again, this is taken from the Public Playground Safety Handbook U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission uh, online at cpsc.gov. Next here I'm going to show you a scanned copy of what the township received from the Ohio Plan Risk Management. Uh, note here that we received this back in May of 2012. If you look under Parks and Recreation, it clearly outlines the CPSC handbook under Parks and Re Recreation 12-03. At regular intervals, perform inspections of the Township Park, retain documentation supporting these inspections, and any corrective action that is taken. Maintain the playground in accordance with the safety standards outlined in the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission Handbook for Public Playground Safety. Fortunately, in Bowling Green Township, we have a park committee and they're our most positive attribute that we have to utilize for this type of thing. The 
park committee got together and put together a continuing plan. Uh, phase one was replacement of box store type playground equipment that had been in the park uh, that was not up to safety standards. That has found a new home and with an ODNR grant and a couple smaller grants, our park has really changed. The merry-go-round, of course, still didn't meet compliance. So the park committee came up with this plan. You can see here the new equipment and the on the upper right there is the existing spot where the merry-go-round is. So what we did is we got together with the Operation Roundup grant, which is through the Energy Co-op here in Central Ohio, and put a grant together with a narrative of the reason why we wanted the grant to bring our park up into compliance and make it safer for our children, and to replace the merry-go-round that is existing there now. Here's a letter from the Licking County Board of Commissioners, a recommendation letter supporting our efforts uh, to do this. And here's a picture of the Hurricane Spinner. We were awarded this grant. The only funds that we have to come up with were for shipping it here and the volunteer assist to install it. The park committee did move a motion and had the funds to do this. So this problem has been solved. However, I will add a clip here so you can see for yourself how other trustees that serve our township feel about this matter. Okay, well, first piece of correspondence is on a real positive note and so it's great to start there. Our park committee, which is a really positive group, successfully got another grant and I'll let them talk about it during their report. But I'm excited for them and I'm just some great leadership from Bart Wiseman and her team that they were successful in We'll move on to public comment. I know there were a few, but let's get back real quick. I know there was public comment for the Park Committee. Well, yeah, the Park Committee. Um, the removing the uh, miracle round, I thought you discussed it prior. I wasn't at last month's meeting because I was out of town, but somewhere they changed, they can remove it now. I thought it wasn't going to be removed. The insurance us. said that it was good. I haven't got a final word that they're going to remove it. So. That's what I just heard about a replacement of it. That means it's going to be removed. Replace means remove. They're putting something else there. They're replacing it. How They're can moving. they do that? How can they do that? Is that what you guys plan to do is replace that with that piece of equipment? But isn't that the township stuff and shouldn't the township have the right to say something? So shouldn't there be public meetings prior to that? or? Something people be aware of. Should be because when we did the my play kids play on it, and all of the kids that were at the, the Easter thing and other times have played on it. For that to be removed is ridiculous. The insurance said it's good. That's the most played with thing ever. Though. When when we did the park committee on the, uh, swings and all that, all the playground equipment, we all had every, all of the trustees. We all got together and voted. I mean, helped with the. Uh, grant and everything. You know, we, you know, we don't. I, I don't know what's going on with this grant. Well, my observations on that is the park committee's done everything publicly. Uh, they hold their meetings. They have documented in the meeting minutes. I don't think anything's improper. I also witnessed the answer. The last time it was Excuse said me. that that was Wait, not being removed. So somewhere you changed it. Well, I didn't change anything, but I, you, I will. Good I will change. state the fact that I heard the public input, and it was yours. And that they, took that, they took that to heart that the, what the children liked was something that's been, and that's exactly what well, they said that they, they liked find, that. They did listen to the input. Nothing that's been. Well, they I'm not arguing that. the fact that there wasn't, you know, any kind of public anything. input or anything like that. That's fine. Um, I, I still want to okay, see some, some information on it, on this piece of equipment. And it's still going to have to go to a vote here before we take out a piece of time just to put it in place. Yeah, but so, what you done with the old one? We haven't decided to remove anything. If, or, if, if, if it happens, what are you doing with it? In other words, it's going to somebody's backyard and going to have an auction on it or what? No, it'll, it'll, it's still it township is. property, so we'll have to dispose of it the correct way. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, yeah. But they, yeah, well, over there. Yeah. Hey, I think it's great that the park committee is what they're doing to these grants and everything. Just as just a suggestion, I've seen a lot of kids play on that playground. It's got some vintage history to it. Is there not room over here for the second grade right around? Well, the one issue hasn't even been addressed here, Dave. You know, well, it's a public comment. I have my hand up, so I'm making a public comment. Is there not room over here? I have two. That's right great, Dave. Right? I've got some answers for you that are relevant to that. If you want to hear me. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And from my perspective, the utmost important thing is the safety of our children. If you look, take the time, which you should, Dan, to read the codes, the uniform codes, that is not something you could purchase today. It is not safe. And I've pointed that out. It's been pointed out in many public meetings. Uh, so, so that is, a, to me, I take that hard. I don't want any kid getting hurt. I don't want to sue, but even more than that, I don't want any kids getting hurt. And it's not up to complaints. So yeah, you, you kind of asked if there was room to put it. I mean, I, I'm not a genius on this stuff, but I know, you know, you have to have so much of a buffer zone around all the equipment. It's, it's so much mold, so you would have to extend it one way or another. And if we're going to stay inside the fence, that's going to take green space away, which I definitely don't want to see. You know, there's got to be some kind of yard thing to play in. So, if a new piece of equipment goes in, it's either going to have to be the playground's going to have to be extended as a whole, so there's more mulch, or something's going to have to be removed. Uh, I didn't realize you're short on green. That's why I asked you. But is there room for the second one? Right. I think it's great for the playground to get these uh, grants to do things. Sure. The package has the whole layout and everything. It shows all that. It's very. Who has that? Documents. You just had to hand them in. Can I get a copy of that too? What is your opinion and Dan's opinion, since you both have younger children, and Mr. Corkening doesn't, and your children do go up there? I'm not arguing the fact. I, I just I just want your opinion on if it's safe or not. My children get it on it. They're pretty safe. Yeah, I don't have a problem with my kids. I don't have any problem with it. I mean, the sidewalk's not safe. They fall and bust their knees. Sorry. My, my honest opinion, what would I rather see? Swings aren't that safe neither. They fall out of them all the time. I'd rather see the fence finish first is what I'd rather say. Them in. You know, as a, for the safety fence around, so little kids can't run out on the road. That's what I'd rather see first, but that's just my opinion. So, um, yeah. how, how long is there a time frame when using the grant money that we just got for that? Do we have to have matching funds by a certain deadline, or does that fund grant I, money go back? I don't, I don't think it's a matching fund grant, was it? Well, we didn't get a full grant, so the we part they did, with. The part they didn't pay for was the shipping and uh, the volunteer assist uh, installation. Well, it, sound, it sounded like it almost came up to a thousand dollars. They paid the for the they paid for the whole unit. But uh, and I know the doesn't part, the township need to come up with like maybe a thousand dollars from what she said on the figures? Several hundred dollars to be up to the park committee if they want to take it out of their funds that they have, which I know they do. We haven't had a meeting. But I mean, is there a time frame on that money? Like, if I, you don't use it by X date, it goes back somewhere else. I not, I okay. Well, so, I know Barb got a letter that she has to sign accepting right. that we will fulfill the terms of the grant. Kind of a up to speed on it. We want to talk about the new uh, merry-go-round we're going to put in. We've got to make a motion. Does anybody make a motion for the to pay the shipping and installation of the merry-go-round? It's going to be around $800. Do we have that money? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Does anybody make a motion? I'll make a motion that we pay for the shipping. Since uh, the Mary go around itself after Jeff wrote the the grant and everything for that, we can ensure we pay the shipping. Shipping and installation. And installation. So I make a motion that we pay for the shipping and the installation of the Hurricane Horror. Does anybody second it? I second it. Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. 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 Public comment, Mark Salukin. 
think the merry-go-round would be removed. There were several residents that do not feel it should be removed. Trustee Corpenny stated that the park committee has done everything in the public. Dave Skinner asked if they could keep both pieces of equipment. Trustee Corpenny says that the merry-go-round isn't up to code. Trustee Hub said the park would have to be extended in order. I'll be back. Dave Skinner asked if they could, if both pieces, if they keep both pieces of equipment. Trustee Corpetti said that the merry-go-round isn't up to code. Trustee Hupp said the park would have to be extended in order to do that. Barb asked Trustee's opinion about the merry-go-round. They both said their kids play on it. Patty West asked if the park rules that she. Any additions or corrections? First meeting was two from the park committee. No. Additions or corrections on that? I don't have any other. September 18, 2012. The Park Committee meeting started at 7 p.m. in the Township Hall on September 18. The grant the Park Committee received does not cover the cost of shipping and installation. The Park Committee would have to pay approximately $800 to cover that cost. Nancy tore pending motion for the Park Committee to pay for the shipping and installation cost for the new hurricane spinner. Nicole Youngers, Youngers seconded a motion passed. Once the order is placed, it will take five weeks for it to be delivered. This place is the installation in mid-October. <coughs> Park Committee. Everything here from the Park Committee? No. We read that nothing else. Right. Uh, the secretary right. couldn't be here tonight. Nothing else. Did you get the check from the operation grant? Yes, I did. Mm. I guess while we're talking about that Park Committee and you asked about that check, so you guys have already received the check. Have you ordered the equipment? Do you know that, Jim? You're a volunteer on You'd that. have to talk to Barb. They said it was going to take five weeks to get in from the time they ordered. So you sat so in on the meeting, I guess. So did You were here, too. I got here late. You're right. I didn't hear that part. So did did they order the Park Committee order? I don't know if she's contacting or not. No, well, because we haven't even discussed it the board if we're going to put it in or how we were to put it. Or? We do need to discuss the disposal of it. And I've got some suggestions on the disposal of the, uh, the uh, old uh, merry-go-round. I don't think we made a motion to take it out. That's why I said we need to discuss it. I'm not favor taking it out. Mm -hmm. I've asked for, this This will be the third month I've asked for information on a piece of equipment that the park committee has taken upon themselves to write a grant for, which is great because they got the grant. But this is the third month that I've asked for information on a new piece of equipment that they would like to put in, and the third month has Come and you had your hand at the last meeting. It was right there. I did? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I did not. They never showed this specific piece of equipment that you guys purchased. So what are you saying? You want to refuse the grant? You want to send money back? Well, we never discussed this as a board if, if we were going to do this, Jeff. Well, discuss it then if you I feel mean, like you Do you know something that I don't know here? I mean... Tell, tell me what you know. You're a you're, uh, <coughs> you're on the park committee, so... What would you like to know? What, what are the... You know, what are, what's the park committee's plans? Yeah. They're just going to rip out a piece of equipment? I heard the it meeting minutes just like you did. It was part of the meeting you missed. It, it didn't say you know, that they were going to take out a piece of equipment and put a new piece in. It said that they were going to purchase a new piece and it was going to take five weeks to come in. I think you... So that they had to come up with another $800? Yeah, I remember that. I think yeah. that you should review the meeting minutes, and if you've got something to discuss about it, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, we're discussing this as a board here until I see some, some information and some facts and you know, some literature on this piece of equipment. Nothing's coming out of that park, I'm sorry. Not on my bed. Okay, well, I guess I'll go right to the Ohio plan, because one of the, it's a non-issue, uh, like I've stated several times, you can't purchase that piece of equipment now, it wouldn't be in compliance. 
It's very clear under the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission handbook, which I've suggested you review, that that's not something that we can have. So Did the insurance company say that we need to remove it? We waited for you to come to the meeting. You passed to us. What meeting? Insurance you asked us. At the last meeting, we got the letter mm -hmm. that you wanted to have a meeting. Correct. And I asked you guys if you wanted to be included. And, yes, and I did. Yes, I did. Did you call? Yes, I did. You call. did, Jeff. I did call. You called and you told me that you were going to have a meeting with John Parker. Yes. When was that? I told you where the time was. Too. Really? Yes, I did. Because I did not get a phone call. It's from a you, good Jeff. thing I recorded it because I can prove it. Please, please do. Most of <laughs> you drove by and put your personal trash in the dumpster. We we he got here like half an hour, twenty minutes early, and I asked him to just wait because you'd probably come back through it. Really? Yes. Good. I never got a message from you, Jeff. So ever. do you want the information that was retrie retrieved from the meeting or not? No, I, I want, first I want to know why that, that you never made an attempt to call me. I told you, you I did. You never dropped me an email or something like that. I called you and left it on the machine. What did. Yeah, that was meeting. That was important. I wanted to be there, Jeff. Because sometimes I can't take everybody's word for everything. So go ahead. Go with the information that, that Mr. Parker gave you. Did he say that we need to remove the, the merry-go-round? I'm going to repeat myself. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. That's not what I asked you. Yes. Call him and ask him yourself. Mr. Parker you said that Bowling Green Township needs to remove the merry-go-round. Call and talk to yourself. Mr. Parker said. I don't speak no. for Mr. Parker. You call Mr. Parker yourself. So, so answer. Is that a yes or no? He said that we need to remove it or not? Last time I was at that meeting, he didn't say it had to be If removed. you want to return the grant money, you go right ahead and do so. Just answer the question. You guys are here up here, so. He never answers the question. I thoroughly answer the question. Well, you no, know, I see the facts, Jeff. And, and I get some literature on this. And, I, and they say that we have to remove this piece of equipment because you know, the insurance company says we have to. It's not coming out. I'm sorry. All of that information within hours of that meeting was posted online. You can go look at it yourself. It's all in a video. I scanned everything on it. You had it in your hand right there. You gave the Did you guys walk guys across the street like and ask for whatever you didn't have? No, no because you want to know how many times Barb told me she would get the information? Three times. Yeah, three times she told me that. I've asked for it three times. to come down here. But you didn't walk over across the street to ask. Barb said she would get it to me. I don't need to go door to door knocking. Yeah. To come to the meeting. So we're going to move on. Nothing. We're just going to be a stand on that. Nothing. <coughs> nothing. I don't know. I don't care about the merit. Well, you're kind of leaving it up in the air. I don't know if Barb's contact or Meyer Design, except the date or not. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. That's, are you going to vote on that? There's no vote. It's not going anywhere. It's already in. What are they on the part? I guess I'm supposed committee. to do it as a board, but yet you're not even willing to vote with what your initiative is. What's there to vote on? There's a piece of equipment already in place. Why? There's a piece of it? equipment coming to go in that spot. So exactly how are you going to handle that? And no who said we we're going to put it in that spot? No vote. You know, you're leaving it in limbo. You need to. No, this has never been brought to the board that we were going to remove a piece of equipment and put another piece of equipment, you know, in its place. Sure. Do I know that the park committee got a grant for piece of equipment? Yes. Do I know where they plan on putting it? I do not. It's right over there on that schematic. Has that ever been presented to us? No. It's right over there. I didn't hang anything on the wall, yeah. Uh, Actually, that schematic over there doesn't even have the right piece of equipment so on it. Is that correct? correct but it's in so the we can't spot. go by that. I don't blame yes, you. Yes, we can. We're paying attention to it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. One other thing on the board committee, real quick. Um, when it comes to disposal of these things, we're supposed to have commercial grade. Now, why you went and bought those new, I don't know, but you did. Now, I'm sure somebody would have a value with them. There's nothing wrong with them other than they don't. They they're not in compliance. Um, my suggestion uh, would include the merry-go-round. Any other equipment that we get rid of when that's replaced, I spoke with the auctioneer that helps fund our a lot of this by his rentals. He has a big auction January 1st, and he is more than happy for us to take anything like that from the township, put it in the January auction. It would be work just like any other sale. We don't have to pay to advertise it. We don't have to pay to take pictures or anything. We don't have to move this stuff because it's right here. And that particular auction gets a lot of, a lot of uh, publicity. You now, other commission. options would be with the merry-go-round to scrap it. Now, we're, we're going to get more out of an auction than that. Right. And I, Barb and I both spoke, so she would have made it to the meeting, which I'm not going there again either. I was there. Part of it. No, not that meeting, the risk meeting. Oh, so okay. I wish I'd be there. Right. All right. Uh, my biggest concern on that, uh, before we had equipment that was not in compliance, we had people that wanted to purchase the auction. Trustees, for whatever reason, gave it to another government entity. Sure. That's did you know why we did that? Then? I don't care. Well, let me tell you. The reason no, that I'm talking you. about we it did. now. We got a grant, free money, to buy new equipment to update it. So why not give the old equipment to another township okay, for their kids to enjoy? Okay, you can have a discussion later. I'm talking about another topic. Okay, You're going off in the weeds. Maybe that's what we should do. You're, right back. Going, off. You're going off in the weeds. No, I'm not. It's hard for me to keep my train of thought when you do that. All right. Okay, the yellow swings. No, wait a minute. We're just going to hit these topics real quick. The yellow swings. I, I asked the, the park committee to get prices on the yellow swings. I haven't seen any kind of price sheet on the yellow, on, on new swings. So, on commercial grade swings. So, until we see price, price on that, they said that they would take care of that. Well, okay. you were at the meeting. They suggested that, that we, she's going to review it. She's going to look at prices on it. The Fulcrum Sea Salt, you said you took care of that, correct? <coughs> that's right. Okay, then that's fine. That's in compliance. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, the swing and carriage bolts on the swing. You know, the bolts Dan's on the swing. Dan's reported multiple times he's going to get it done. He built it. I don't know why he I didn't say anything about me getting it done. The, what's the, the carriage bolts and grade 5 bolts, what's the difference? They don't make sense to me. Well, a lot of these things have to do with strangulation uh, hazards and things like that.